what we're doing. Four. Ah, it's kind of slimy too. Let's come check on this in um, another week or something. Unfortunately, the burner at the beginning of the video was causing us some audio issues while we explained what we're doing. And when we got the footage back, it was a little bit mashed. What we're doing here is we're simmering the straw at 60 to 90 degrees to kill any biomes, any bacteria, any competition that the mushrooms may have when they grow. We just want the bare fiber and we want our mushrooms to have zero competition so we get the maximum yield. It has been an hour. We're about to go out, so we've only had enough time to do one bag so far. We'll have to finish the rest after. You're too ambitious. Mm. Oh, that's still got water, so careful. Oh, let it drain. What are you doing? Sorry. <laughs> Otherwise it'll be sitting in hot water. Cool. One down. Four to go. It is the next day guys, which means that this is cooled down most definitely by now. And so we're on to the next step of this little project that we've got going on. So what I'm essentially going to be doing now is I'm going to be doing a layer of the straw and then a layer of this uh, mycelium. This is uh, being left a little late though, I think. Started to come out of this bag, unfortunately.
And now we're gonna take this under the house and hang it somewhere. I've just done some simple knots over it with some twine. Um, might go grab some more and put it in place and hopefully we'll be getting some mushrooms. That'll be so, that'll be exciting. We're heading into the time of year where mushrooms grow prolifically. Into the darkness. I've got these two bars. That's gonna work well. Just doing a simple knot. There we go. Cross beam to cross beam. One piece of wood, and I'm just hanging this bag with inoculated straw. And now for the last step. Let's come check on this in, um, I don't know, a week or something. A couple of days, honestly, if I can't help myself. <laughs> can't really put into words how exciting it is to finally have mushrooms growing in a nice ideal environment. They've, they've been on my list and been kind of a, like a homesteading dream of mine for a long time, but it's just, I don't know, sometimes things just feel too hard, even when they're not. And so to finally have a bag inoculated hanging under the house no matter how it goes it's the first time I've ever done it apart from one of those you know like DIY boxes that you buy from Bunnings or something like that it just feels surreal it doesn't feel like mushrooms are going to grow out of it like it's just such a cool simple process it, and it's so different to planting in the soil so different uh, I can't I, I, I love Asian food stir fries, soups, like oyster mushrooms are gonna go perfectly in it, so.